Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I have got a tutorial for you guys in After Effects. And uh, yeah, so this isn't Photoshop, so if you don't have After Effects, then um, you might not be able to follow this tutorial. But uh, yeah, this is a speed art that I did a couple days ago, and you guys actually really enjoyed it, and you guys wanted me to do a tutorial on it. So I'm going to show you guys how to make this cool animated writing effect. It's actually really, really simple. I am using a font for um, for this logo effect, but you can do it on your logos as well. If, as well. And uh, yeah, so it doesn't really matter what you use on, but I am going to be using it on a text layer today. And uh, the font we're going to be using is called Abe Fadan. The, li the link will be in the description so you guys can go check it out. And uh, this font's really cool because it has all these underlining as well instead of numbers. And uh, you can see that I should use that here as well. So it works really cool and uh, it looks really nice as well. So, okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to File, New, just so we can start off fresh for you guys. And uh, just so we have nothing set up. So we don't actually need to save that, to be honest. Okay, so we've got this blank. Um, this blank project right here so we're going to click on this icon right here to start a new composition and uh, the width and the height doesn't really matter it depends on what you're using it for but we're going to be using 1920 by 1080 just for this tutorial and uh, okay we're going to press ok and now what we're going to do is we're going to click on this box right here we're going to press command and y and this will basically just make a new solid so we're just going to make the background black instead of transparent that's basically all this does and then you can see that we've got this black solid here nothing will change visually, visually. Um, but uh, yes yeah, so we basically just got a black solid there now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to this text tool and we're going to click on it and then we can just click anywhere on the on the, um, the video screen and uh, it will basically just allow us to type whatever we want. So I'm going to type in abstract again and uh, so abstract just like that. Uh, with this font if you use lowercase then it will be joint up but if you use uppercase like the A is then it will be uh, kind of um, uh, it won't be joint up so if I just use all capitals uh, you can see that it is all now separated but we, we like it cool. Um, so yeah, that's why we're going to use the uh, the joint up writing, and we can also uh, fiddle around with all these numbers to get all these different effects um, as well. I think um, the one I used in the example was number nine, just because I thought it looked really cool, like how it flicked off the T. And uh, yeah, this is the one that we're going to be using. And okay, now if we wanted to center it, all we would need to do is click on this icon right here, and then go to title and action and safe. And now we can just line it up with that icon right in the middle, just like we would in Photoshop. Uh, but without the guides and uh, yes yeah, so now that we've done that we can click on the icon again and then click on title action safe and then we can see that we got rid of the guides and uh, yeah so right now all we've got is our text nothing is moving and uh, now this is where we start to animate it so what we need to do is uh, let's just do this quickly uh, then what we need to do is we need to go to our pen tool but first we need to have make sure that our text layer is selected so we're going to click on our text layer then go to the pen tool which is right up here and then we're going to zoom in a little uh, we might go to about 50% now that literally did nothing <laughs> so we can use arrow keys okay now we're literally just going to go over our over our letters in the way that we would if we were to literally write it on a piece of paper so for the letter A I would go over here and then I would skip this part right here and then I would do I would do the formation of A first and then actually I might edit this if you want to change the um, the uh, the handles of your anchor point all you need to do is press command and click on the handle and then you can just change the uh, change the, the angle or the handle of the, ang the angle of the handle <laughs> sorry about that and uh, yeah so we can just create our path make sure it's going in the center of our, um, our letters and now that we've done the outside of our A, we want to go back and do the uh, the flick that goes across. So we can go outside of the letter, it doesn't really matter, because uh, this line won't be visible at all. So we're just going to click and then go do the stroke. And we want to do it in the order that we want it to appear. So if I was to animate this right now, this outer part would be animated first, just because we penciled that first. And then it will go over here and then it would um, do this flick as well. And now we just want to continue going around the letters. Uh, just like we were with the A. Again, we may need to edit these edit, um, these these handles, and we're just going to keep going around, just like that. It's really easy this part. If you do use pen tool a lot in Photoshop, then you should know how to use the pen tool in After Effects. It's actually exactly the same. But if you are using the pen tool for the first time, this may be a bit difficult for you, and uh, it might just take a bit of getting used to. But after all, it is pretty easy uh, when you get the hang of it. So we're just going to keep going around. And I'm actually going to speed this part up just so you guys don't have to watch me go around all the other letters. And we'll catch up when we are done. Okay guys, we have now finished the pen tooling. As you can see, we've gone around all of the letters. And uh, yes, yeah, so it's looking pretty cool. Well, obviously we've just got lines everywhere. 
But um, now we're going to start to make the effect. So we're going to go to effects right here, and then we're going to go to generate, and then uh, it is stroke. So right here, and then the first thing you want to do is we're going to go to paint style and make sure that this is on reveal original image. And now everything should disappear, or you should have a really thin line going around where our pen tool was. And uh, yes, yeah, so now all we need to do is increase the brush size, and now you can see that our words are starting to appear again. And we want to increase it just enough to the point um, as it was looking like before we changed the paint style. So um, if we decrease it, we are basically, well, okay, what the, uh, what the pen tool basically did is it, we made a stroke in the pen tool and uh, it's only revealing the letters where the stroke is. So if we increase the, the size of the stroke, we can see that the letters become fully apparent. And uh, that's probably the best way I can explain it. And uh, we don't want it to, uh, we don't want the brush size to be too big to the point where it's going outside of the letters. So we just want to make sure that, uh, well, I think the best idea would be to find the thickest part of the letters. So probably about right here, you can see that parts are being cut off. So we're going to increase the size of the brush until it doesn't expand anymore. And uh, okay, I think it's pretty good. Although we do have this little part right here. If you do still have these missing parts on the, um, on your design, all you need to do is go back to your pen tool and you can just move your point over a little and then you can see that the part is gone. And uh, yeah, so everything is now looking perfect. Our brush size is right and uh, all of the letters are now visible. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the stopwatch for the end uh, right here and that will make a, um, a keyframe. So we're going to click on our layer right there, the text layer, press U on our keyboard and then this will show uh, the end which is what we just added the keyframe to right here and now we can actually see the keyframe right here as well so we're going to click on this keyframe drag it out to uh, probably be about four um, four frames and 15 uh, I don't even know what that is I don't know <laughs> uh, to be honest but uh, yeah so we're going to go back to zero and then we're going to go to our end and then make sure that is on zero and now we can see that uh, it basically spells out the word like we did with the pen tool. So if we press play, we can see that it writes out everything. It's not perfect, you can still see that we got to move a bit of a, um, on the B, at the top of the B, we need to change the, uh, we need to move the anchor point a bit. So that'll be really easy to do, and uh, we can do that really quick. So uh, like I said, you can see this little part missing right here. So go to our pen tool, and then um, we can just move this over to the point where that part is no longer missing. And then now we can press play again, and then everything should be fine. Just like this. It's, this effect is actually really easy to do, although you can see it is a bit scrappy. You can do a much, um, there is a, mo a l sorry, <laughs> the way of putting this is like, there is a lot more harder ways of doing it, but this is the quickest and the simplest and the, the easiest to master, I would have thought as well. And um, you can also increase the brush hardness as well, just to make sure that there's no like soft edges and um, yeah, just to make everything look crisp and clean. And uh, yeah, it's really easy. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you did find it helpful, don't forget to check out my other tutorials as well. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.